Welcome back guys and in this video we're going to learn how to make a poster in GIMP software First of all open up your uh, application as I have this in my computer already and then go to file and create a new file and we'll choose the from the template let's select a4 and as you can see or uh, in my monitor is not showing the whole canvas and I'm just going to select zoom out a little bit so we can view our whole canvas all together you can use the modifier key control or uh, if you're using Windows or command in Mac and now we have our canvas layout uh, right on top of our desktop then I'm going to open a file that I've already uh, prepared and I'm going to open it as a layer and then select the file and open so as you can see it's it plays right on top of our uh, background layer if you see on the right hand side bottom on our uh, layer tab it will show you that uh, our new file is open as a layer and then I'm going to transform it a little bit so because I want it to be in a full width the same with the canvas my file is a little bit small and that's why I have to enlarge it and then I'm going to lay out it in a place that we are going where we want <coughs> it to be placed and then I'm going to open another file uh, you can use your selfie because we are going to make a family poster I'm going to choose just for an example open this and there we have our uh, new file right on top of the other layers and let me zoom it in a little, bit, a little bit okay now I want it to be uh, to be shaped and cut out a little bit of the background because I don't want it to be shown in the in the in our layout so to do that we go to the layer and then we right click and add alpha layer and after that we can use the eraser tool and then we can erase the background that we don't want to show uh, in the image just do it slowly and as you can see in our uh, history tab uh, all our action are recorded so if you make mistakes like what I did just now you can go back and redo the whole thing you don't have to redo uh, the whole uh, process all over again and as, uh, as neatly as possible and if we're done we can move it just move to and we can move it like this is for just an example showing that uh, the background that we erase is now transparent to the background uh, to the layer below the layer that we have been working on so after we finish the erasing the background of the selfie and then I'm just going to put it where I want it but as you can see it's a little bit small so I'm going to enlarge this and I'm going to open another file and put another uh, image in, in our layout I'm going to show you another way go to open and then select uh, the file that you need you might gonna have 
encounter this kind of window and then we're going to select keep and we can just ignore that uh, for a while and here's the, the file that I'm going to use in our layout poster layout and I'm going to go and select the whole thing and right click and copy well, then we go to our layout and then we go to right click and go to edit and then paste now there are the so there's our um, image that we want we are going to use and then we're just going to re layout it <coughs> in our uh, poster and I wanted to put it right there so yeah and I don't I don't think I need to change the size and I'm going to open another file I'm going to open it as a layer so it will be easier for us to use and select the file and then it will put the image for us and as you can see it's quite bigger than the image that we put before but I want them to be in uh, same size so my layout would be neat and clean and neat alright so there's uh, the size as I already shown using scale tool and then you can scale the image size to whatever you prefer and then we're going to give a text on top of our poster text to the A button and then as you can see we have in our uh, tool property window uh, just write down we have our properties and then select where we want to put your uh, text click on it and then it will show you this uh, kind of window the properties for your text that you written over, uh, on your uh, artwork so you can select the font the size and whatever I'm just going to write a family in this uh, right as the title is family trip and then I'm going to um, change the size it's uh, well we can change the font from the our font palette on right uh, on the top right of the window there and we can also enlarge this uh, layer here it is kind of a container for your uh, for your for whatever you write in the layer and I'm just gonna enlarge the size of this text as you can see it won't go uh, across this uh, this type box that we have right here Uh, now that it's big enough, I'm just gonna lay out it in a place that I in a place that I want in, in the space that I want and put it right there and there we go. And I also going to give a description of our images like over here I'm going to make another uh, text box and then I'm just gonna just to change the just justification to make it justify to the right on the tools or on the tools properties and also in our text box window 
select area so it's easier for us to read and there you go the title camping trip and you can add some description down below and change the size so we can uh, so there's a difference between the title and the description okay and if so we have the title we have the date and location and then we have a description of the trip down below yeah, and large it to that size so all right and then I'm just to make it easier and we don't have to rechange all the whole uh, material just right click and then I'm gonna select duplicate layer it's going to be duplicated on top of each other so I'm just gonna drag the top one to our beach image and then to edit them double click on the layer and select the text and we can rewrite what we wanted to write we can also change the color of the text by selecting the color box and then it will show you this uh, window select the colors and click OK and it will change the uh, your text color it's going to change the other one too select the text that you want to change uh, click on the color box and select the color that you want hit OK and it will change the color to the one that you choose anyway I'm just going to add another one so we have our uh, camping trip description and going to the beach description we also need to give a description of who is the one who make them that's why I put a selfie photo over there and we're going to give a description let's go to the text uh, tool again and we can see select toolbox select the whole uh, text by doing by clicking uh, left key and drag and then write your name write your name and then we're going to change the justifications and there we have it and if you want to see it uh, properly to fit with your window just go to view and then we're going to select zoom and then find the fit image in window now we are going to save the file and we can go to file and then save as give it a name and you can change the where you want to put your um, file and then click save and it will save the file for you in order to make the file be accessible by another programs you are going to need to export the file so first off you go to file and then select export and it will open a window for us just the same as a window but notice the extension is different and then we just gonna click export and it also will give you this kind of window uh, we're just going to ignore all these options for now and just hit export and the program will export the file for us so the uh, saved file will be able to be open across all uh, viewer program so that's it from me guys i hope you guys can learn something new and i'm positive that you guys can make an even better poster that, than the one that i made here in this video 
So thank you for watching and see you guys again soon.